Hello and welcome back to another episode of Winemaking 101, the series where I talk you through the fundamental elements of winemaking at home. Today we're going to be looking at how and when you should rack your wine. This question comes up very, very often amongst novices and new people coming into the hobby. They have made their wine, they have put it into a demijohn, it's fermenting away nicely. And then they go, what now? How? What? Racking off is simply the process of removing the liquid from the dead yeast cells and any sediment that has fallen from the wine as it starts to clear. You'll often hear people saying that they do it at two weeks, two months, three months, five months and six months regardless without fail. That's when you should rack the wine off. And to that, I might be a bit controversial, I say sod it. You don't follow a strict timetable. Instead, you read your wine. You let the wine dictate to you when you rack it off. You want to be looking for a buildable sediment at the bottom of your demijohn or carboy. And when you judge that to be of a decent enough thickness, then you rack it off. You don't wait until that three month point if you see the sediment forming a layer sooner. You rack it off when the wine needs racking off. Same way, you don't wait for that three month point and you let the wine and it's beautiful clear, there's no sediments, but you rack it anyway. The less you faff with your wine, the better. Here, I have a daisy wine that I started last month. It's starting to build up a layer of sediment at the bottom. It's still fermenting and I think it's about time I racked it off. I see that there's a layer at the bottom, it's about a finger's deep of sediment and dead yeast cells. One finger wide is pretty much when I rack wines off the sediments. Any less than that, unless it's a final rack before it goes into lockdown long-term storage, I don't really worry about. Anything more than that, I want to be on top of the wine and rack it off as soon as I can. So let's go through the process together. We're going to jump that side to the workbench and I'll talk you through how to rack your wine off. So to rack off your wine, the equipment you need fundamentally is your full demijohn of wine that you want to rack off, a clean, sterilized demijohn to put the liquid in as you rack it off, and a clean siphon tube. You want to place the clean, empty demijohn down on the floor so it's lower than your primary demijohn. And then remove the airlock of your initial demijohn and insert one end of the siphon tubing into the demijohn. You might have a funky gizmo on the end of your siphon tube which helps prevent the sediment being sucked up. If so, insert that end. Try not to disturb too much of the sediment down there if you can. The less sediment you disturb, the less times you don't need to rack your wine, and the better that is for your wine. Give the end of your tube a quick suck. If you're worried about germs and bacteria, have a good swig of vodka before you do this. And give your siphon tube a good suck. This is a very good stage to have a quick taste of the wine and see how it's progressing, so you can judge those flavours. This daisy wine I'm impressed with. Awesome. With your liquid trapped in your tube, place this end into the empty demijohn. And where you can, try not to splash the wine too much. The less oxygen that gets into the wine, the better. So try and pour it down the side of the demijohn. And then just wait until the initial demijohn is empty and gravity has sucked all that liquid down into the second demijohn. It sometimes helps if you tilt the demijohn towards the nozzle. This way, most of the liquid will get sucked up, leaving some of the sediment. So just give it a quick tilt. I apologize for the cows outside. And I think that is now empty. And what you're left with is a layer of sediment at the bottom of the demijohn. So remove your siphon and hoik up your new demijohn. You will always lose a bit of volume from your demijohn. What I like to do if the wine is still fermenting 
is to add some sugar syrup solution. Mix about two tablespoons of sugar into a quarter of a pint of boiling water. Stir and let it cool. I then use this to top up the wine. You want to keep your demijohn well and truly topped up to the neck and that sugar solution will do that as well as adding sugar to feed the yeast. You don't want your yeast to stress because stressed yeast can give off flavours. It can spoil the wine if it stresses because there isn't enough food. So give it food. All you need to do then is replace your airlock and carry on fermenting. If you're at the stage where the wine has finished fermenting, you don't always need to have the sugar, but you can just top it up with plain water. Well, I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, drop me a comment down below and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon for another video. Have fun now.